Hallelujah! <laughs> Welcome to today's Heavenly, Heavenly Friday Holy Communion, Communion Service. Yes, Hallelujah. we welcome you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We remain your servant, Apostle Joseph Samuel King, my Yours anointed truly. and lovely husband, Hallelujah. ready for us tonight. He is ready and powered by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I hope you are ready, 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 ready for him. Hallelujah. We are here tonight and our topic tonight is very, very, very nice. Hallelujah. I think we posted during the day and we said that we have a lot of issues. We have a lot of things happening right now, but we are here with a message to encourage you because through Jesus Christ, all things are made possible yes. and that's why tonight yes. we are saying don't worry be, be happy, happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes glory to god there was an old song that used to say don't worry be, be happy. happy yes and it was a secular artist musician singing that uh it was all about the wave of free liberalism that was taking place in the 1970s all the way from the 1960s and that was being associated with uh free living involving drugs the use of abuse of drugs and all of that but you see in that secular uh, uh rebellion as uh, as it was uh, lay a very spiritual sense that actually centers on the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sin is what brought worry. And Jesus has brought happiness. And we're going to look at uh, worry as indeed the world considers it and happiness as you ought to consider it. Being totally fulfilled. Hallelujah. Amen. And listen to this. You can be assured. Don't Worry. worry is it a personal problem don't, don't worry. worry is it a marital problem don't, don't worry. worry is it a political problem don't, don't worry. worry is it a, a a body challenge is it a health challenge don't worry is it to do with your children your family whatever it is refuse to worry there is no need for you to have worry in your life there is every reason for you to be happy. And we're going to be looking at that uh, reason or the, the foundation for which you should be happy in everything, in any situation, Amen. regardless the challenge, you should be happy. happy. Hallelujah. Amen. You need happiness. Hallelujah. Yes. And worrying is totally useless. Mm -hmm. It is totally useless. There is nothing as useless as worry. Jesus yes. himself said, uh, who of you by worrying will add even a cubic uh, meter to your life? You add nothing by worry. Hallelujah. Amen. And you gain everything by being happy. And we'll be talking more about that tonight. Hallelujah. That is awesome. And that is what we have prepared for you. And with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we will be going deeper. My anointed husband will be going deeper. And he'll be teaching us tonight concerning that. And remember that today is Heavenly Friday Holy Communion service. Yep. And in this service, you need to have some artifacts that we are going to use at the end of our service. You can have anything representing the body of Christ. You yes. can have any drink representing the blood of, the, of Christ. Hallelujah. Because we all understand by the blood of Jesus that happened at the cross, we were all reconciled and we were one with Christ. Hallelujah. Christ in us and us in him. And that's what we always celebrate Hallelujah. during Holy Communion you, service. You, you have to celebrate the communion. Yes. You have to celebrate the communion. Because our damnation as men was centered on the disobedience of Adam. Mm. The sin of Adam separated us from God in the sense that God had made us his likeness. We were just like God. When God created us, that was what was his purpose. That was what was his plan. He created us for fellowship. He created us to be like him. He created us to be his children. 
He created us to be one with him. When God created man, he created a ruler just like him and he called him man. Amen. When God created man, he created him to be sovereign and divine just like God. There is no other creature that God created to be like him. That is the fellowship we had with God in the creation. But sin, sin spoiled that fellowship. Mm. Sin robbed us of that fellowship yes. and estranged us, made us strangers to sovereign divinity. Mm. Where we had been created to be rulers of righteousness, just like our God, yes. just like our Father, yes. we became slaves of sin. Yes. And so since Adam until Moses, the end of the regime of Moses was the ending of the law on the cross of Christ. Amen. From Adam's disobedience mm. to, the, to Moses' law, all of us, all men were separated from God. All men were lost from their sovereign divinity. When Jesus said, I have come to seek and save that which was lost, he means he was coming to seek that which had been made to be sovereign and divine, but now was estranged from sovereign divinity, estranged from ruling spirits, estranged from being kings of righteousness, and had become slaves of sin. So on the cross, hallelujah, Amen. by the death of his body yes. and by the power of his blood, Christ worked reconciliation for mm, us. Mm. What that means is he restored us to be what God had created us to be. Amen. Reconciliation with God means, mm. does not just mean peace in the sense that now we have an understanding with God and God forgives us of our sins. More importantly, it is that God now reckons us to be what he had actually created us to be. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He created us to be sovereign and divine. Mm. By the power of the blood of Jesus, we have been made sovereign and divine again. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have been made ruling Amen. spirits again. Amen. We have been made heavenly citizens again. Amen. We have been made like God Hallelujah. again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, communion is a celebration of our sovereign divinity. Mm. Communion is a celebration of our heavenly citizenship. Yes. Communion is a celebration of our likeness with God. Mm. Communion is a celebration of our reconciliation with God. Mm. In fact, not only are we like God, yes. but to ensure that this perfection of reconciliation is indeed fully the substance of us being like God. God is in us and we are in him and we are one with him. Amen. So we are not just like God in the sense that we have been made like him. We are one with him. So when we say communion, celebration, we are celebrating our communion, our oneness with God. In the whole of the Old Testament, there was no such celebration. They celebrated the Feast of Tabernacles. They celebrated the Passover. They celebrated the atonement. They celebrated many feasts, the Jubilee. None of those feasts come close with what communion celebrates. We have the greatest celebration, not only in the Bible, but even in the heavens, none of the angels have such a celebration. But we have the privilege of celebrating communion. So Heavenly Friday, Holy Communion service is a celebration of our heavenly citizenship. It is a celebration 
of our likeness with God. It is a celebration of our reconciliation with, with God. It is a celebration of God in us and we in God. It is an exclusive celebration. The angels can only rejoice for us, but they cannot be really uh, celebrating communion because they cannot partake of the body. They are not allowed to drink of the cup. Why? They are not like God. They are not one with God in the sense that we are one with God. So this is not something to take for granted. This is something that requires the deepest thought. Amen. And that's why at Heavenly Friday, yes. before entering the communion, yes. where we partake of the body mm. by breaking the body and eating of it, yes. and partaking of the cup yes. by drinking of it, we actually make sure we teach the word. Amen. We teach the word that speaks of this communion. Amen. Tonight we say, don't worry. Be Happy. Because if you are one with God, yes. there is no reason to worry. Lord For if God be for you, mm. who can be against you? Nobody. If God be for you, yes. you are more than a conqueror. If God be for you, yes. your enemies will fall for your sake. Amen. If God be for you, mm. you will leap and abound in the strength of the Almighty. Amen. If God be for you, yes. there, a thousand can fall on one side and 10,000 can fall on the other side but no evil shall come near you yes. if God be for you Alleluia. miracles are yours Amen. signs are yours yes. wonders are, for, are yours yes. if God be for you mm -hmm. you walk in the path of righteousness yes. that gets brighter and brighter, brighter. until the passing day Alleluia. if God be for you yes. don't worry be happy. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. Amen. God is for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is for you. You can rejoice in your house. Yes. You can rejoice with your children. Amen. You can rejoice with your mama. You can rejoice with your baba. Hallelujah. Yes, God is for you. Amen. You are in him. Yes. He's in you. Yes. Whatever concerns you, is his business. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're not alone in that trouble. Yes. You are not alone in that sickness. Yes. You are not alone in that challenge. Mm. You are not alone in that mountain. Yes. God is with you. Amen. Come on, someone say, God is with me. God is with me. I am with God. I am with God. I love it the way David in the valley of Elah when uh, he came to fight yes. the Goliath, the giant Goliath. Yes. And he said to the giant, you come with, against me. <laughs> Yeah. with uh, a javelin and spear and sword oh. but i come against you in the name Amen. of the lord he said this day shall i cut off your head and the whole world shall know there is a god, god in israel. israel and god fought for david mm. when god was not one with david just because david had confidence that god would be with him in that battle Amen. in your battle yes god is not just with you in that oh, battle. Lord. God is one with you. Amen. Whoever attacks you is, is attacking God. God. Whoever insults you yes, is insulting, insulting God. God. Whoever is against you yes. is against God. Amen. Can one be against God oh, no. and win? <laughs> no. That is how sure you are yes. that you have already overcome them. Glory. He said, little children, mm. First John chapter 4, verses 4, little children, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Don't worry. Mm. For greater is he that is in you than Amen. he that is in the world. Amen. Before he said that, yes. he says, little children, do not be afraid. You have already overcome them. Amen. The one who is in you yes. is greater Amen. than the one against you. Amen. Don't worry. Be happy. Be happy. Tonight, more of that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Wow. Wow. That Hallelujah. is awesome. So we welcome you. We uh, actually we came in a bit late, so we are going to go straight to the word because of time, and we value the time of we need to give the our Lord the best. What we say for ourselves, we should not say for ourselves. It should be the best for the Lord, and that's why we are here. And we ask you to kindly, if there's someone you want to call, please call them. Hurry up, call them. 
call your parents, call your friends, call your enemies, tell them that actually we are here at the Lord's table and we are calling you to come and dine Apostles with us. Joseph and Sarah King, we are in the house Amen. and we are telling everybody, don't worry. Yes. Okay? Don't worry. Be happy. We're going to be talking about prophecy tonight. Amen. We're going to be talking about the end times tonight. We're going to be talking about the political chaos yes. you see. Yes. We're going to be talking yeah. about the challenges of the economy that Hallelujah. you are seeing. We're going to be talking about contemporary issues. Mm. And we're going to be giving you the sound advice of the gospel. Amen. Don't worry. Be happy. Amen. Amen. And we think my husband, anointed husband, we can start. Hallelujah. I hope all of us here are ready. Do you have your artworks ready? Please ensure they are ready because you have your immediately Bible? after this, we will go to the Holy, celebrate Holy Communion because our Lord Jesus said, remember to do this in do, remembrance of yes, me. Yes. Remember to do it. So we are going to, after this, we have to do it. So ensure hallelujah. you have everything. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So can we pray? Can we get into agreement? In prayer, hallelujah. Glory. Oh, God is with us. Ah, what a joy. What a wonderful God. Heavenly Father, we delight, we rejoice, we celebrate your presence. You are with us. Yes, Lord. You have never forsaken yes. us. You cannot abandon us. You are with us even to the end of the age. By the power of the blood of Jesus, by which we have been reconciled with you. Oh, how we born of the Spirit. Oh, how we ruling Spirit just like you. Oh, are we in you and you in us. Yes, we are one Spirit. Yes, we are one body. Yes, we have one name. Yes, we are children in the house. Now, Heavenly Father, tonight, Standing on the ground that cannot be shaken, mm. the rock of ages, mm. Jesus the Christ. Mm. We declare, dear Father, your word. Yes. Don't worry, be happy. Mm. Confirm that word with miracles, signs, and wonders. Mm. Lift your people mm. to the glory that you have given them in Christ Jesus, yes. by which they have communion with you. Mm. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You have your Bibles? Yes. Let us go to Nehemiah in the Old Testament. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's get working the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's work with the word. The word is not just to be played with. Hallelujah. Sure. There's a lot of playing with the word and yet the word should be worked with. You should study the word so that you can show yourself approved. And then you can work with the word to make happen the things that God has said should happen. Hallelujah. Amen. Nehemiah chapter 8 verses 10. Listen attentively. Amen. Nehemiah said, Go and enjoy choice food and sweet drinks and send some to those who have nothing prepared. This day is sacred to our Lord. Do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Amen. Nehemiah was calling for a feast. Hallelujah. Amen. Nehemiah was calling for a celebration. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The children of God had many enemies. Mm. The children of God were being contended against. The nation of Israel mm. was in plight. It was in plight. And this man of God, Nehemiah, who was not even a prophet, he was a devoted worshiper of the living God. He had previously been serving mm. on the court of a king as a cupbearer, mm. a Gentile king of all things. Mm. Israel had gone to exile mm. because of her many sins against the Lord. God had sent armies to punish them and take them to exile. They were in exile in Pasha. And Nehemiah was downcast because he received a report from Jerusalem how the wall of the city was broken and the gates of the city were broken 
and the foxes and wild beasts were entering in and out of the city, the glorious city of Jerusalem. So he asked the king for opportunity to go back and rebuild the gates of the city, rebuild the walls of the city, so that the wild beasts would not come in, so that Jerusalem would regain her glory. But the enemies of Jerusalem were contending against Nehemiah. They were against the mission Nehemiah had to rebuild the gates of the city and the walls of the city. You may be like Nehemiah today. You are trying to rebuild the house of God. You are in ministry. You are trying to rebuild the foundation. The foundations have been removed. That's why sorcery has gone all over widely spread in the church. Many believers are believing God and demons so that they can receive the desires of their flesh and they know nothing concerning the promises of Christ. They confuse the desires of their flesh to be the promises of God. And they pursue these things honestly, never often realizing they have fallen far short of what God has promised. Yes. And you may be that minister. <coughs> like us tonight. The communion. Was given to the church. Mm -hmm. To celebrate. Yes. Continually. Mm -hmm. Spiritually. With revelation. But it has been reduced to a scarcely practiced right that is done more often than not without an understanding of what it means. And Apostle Sarah and I, we have obeyed the spirit of the living God to rebuild this gate. Communion is a gate. It is a gate by which you enter to rejoice, celebrate, and take advantage of being one with God. You cannot know what it means to be an heir of God unless you take communion seriously. You cannot know what it means to rule with God, to be a king in his kingdom, unless you take communion seriously. You cannot know what it means to be a Lord in the estate of God unless you take communion seriously. You cannot know what it means to be a priest in the temple of God in heaven, a Melchizedek priest, a ruling priest, unless you take communion seriously. You cannot know what it means to be a judge in the court of God that will judge not only the world but even the angels unless you take communion seriously. You cannot take advantage of the promises of Christ. You cannot even know them unless you take communion seriously. Communion is a gate. Communion is a gate that will invite you to experience angels ascend and descend upon you so that your will can be done in the earth here even as the Father's will is done in heaven. Communion is a gate. And the enemy has done so much to ruin this gate. And there are people like Nehemiah you, you have been driven by the Holy Spirit. You find yourself in a service like this because you desire to remember Jesus. The devil knows when he attacks communion, he's attacking the remembrance of Jesus. The world is trying so hard to forget Jesus. Why? Because he's the way. Why? Because he's the truth. Why? Because he's the light. The devil is confusing the world, deceiving the world, so that they do not find the way, so that they do not find the truth, so that they do not find the light. And you find that apostles like us, apostles are called to establish foundations. We are called to restore this gate so that we can bring people to the remembrance of our Lord so that in the challenge you are dealing with instead of meditating on that mountain you remember Jesus when you are dealing with disease 
you remember Jesus. When you're dealing with loneliness, you remember Jesus. When you're dealing with curses, when you're dealing with principalities and powers, you remember Jesus. When you're dealing with confusion, you remember Jesus. When you're dealing with whatsoever enemy that you are dealing with, you are not caught up with the greatness of that enemy the way Saul was caught up with the greatness of Goliath, but David remembered God. Tonight, yes. we want you to remember Jesus. Amen. We want you to remember Jesus. Yes. That's why we are building this gate. Hallelujah. We are building this gate so that your children remember Jesus. Glory. We are building this gate yes. so that your spouse yes. remembers Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that your community mm. remembers Jesus. Hallelujah. We want the whole world mm. To remember Jesus. And we will fight. We will fight. That the whole world should remember Jesus. And the weapon of our warfare. They are not carnal. But they are mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. Bringing to captivity. Every thought that exalts itself. Against the knowledge of God. Make no mistakes about it. We will not rest. Until in every city. Until in every corner of this world. From the east to the west. Jesus is remembered. Jesus is celebrated. Jesus is worshipped. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. That Jesus is Lord. Amen. We have that devotion. Amen. We are building to that end. Mm. And you may not be doing it at even a global level. Maybe you're doing it in your house. Amen. In your marriage. Yes. You want Jesus to be remembered. Mm. You are bringing the communion. You want Jesus to be remembered. You want your children to remember Jesus. And the enemy is attacking mm. the way Nehemiah was attacked. And God moved Nehemiah. And told him, don't worry. Be happy. (laughs) In that challenge. Yes. As you fight your fight of faith. Hallelujah. As you take on the cause of God. Stirred up by the Holy Spirit. Yes, the enemy has come against you. Yes, the witchcraft has come against you. The sorcery. Mm. And you have gone through a season of anxiety. A season of worry. A season of fear. Mm. Nehemiah went through it. But God came and said to him, Don't worry, Nehemiah. Be happy. Mm. Let the people rejoice. Let them get a feast on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pull out your choice food. Yes. Hallelujah. (laughs) Don't budget. Don't budget. Yes. I am with you. Hallelujah. I am with you. Yes. Rejoice me. Yes. Celebrate me. Yes. Remember me. Yes. I will do the rest. Hallelujah. Tell the people the joy of the Lord is Is their strength. Glory. Saints of the living God. Satan wants you to be discouraged. Satan wants you to be dismayed. Mm. Fear is a weapon of darkness. Mm -hmm. Fear is a weapon of darkness. Fear cost Job all his estate. Fear cost Job all of his children. Fear cost Job his health. Mm -hmm. In Job chapter 5, after he had lost all these things, Job confessed, the things that I feared, they have come to me. Oh, oh. Fear is a gate. We must break the gate In of the fear. In the name of Jesus. We must pull mm, it down. Mm. We refuse you to fear. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. God has not given us the spirit of timidity. Yes. Of cowardice. Of fear. Of being dismayed. Someone says, oh, but we are human. No, we are not. Mm -hmm. We are like God. And God is not human. God is a ruling spirit. Ruling spirits have no business with fear. Let me say that again. Ruling spirits have no no business business with with fear. fear. Hallelujah. Our business is love. God has given us the spirit of love. The spirit of power. And the spirit of a sound mind. He says to us, perfect love. Cast out fear. Amen. 
No, the only yeah. business we have with fear is to cast it out. Yes. Is it in your heart? Uh -huh. Cast it out. Amen. Is it in your marriage? Cast it out. Amen. Is it in your children? Cast it out. Amen. In your home? Cast it out. Yes. In your city? Your friends? Yes. Your peers? Wherever you work? Cast it out. Amen. Hallelujah. Attack fear. Mm -hmm. Attack it ferociously. Yes. They were telling David. This man, Goliath, is a seasoned warrior. He kills whoever he fights. Mm -hmm. David said to the king, your servant has killed the lion mm -hmm. that attacked the flock I looked after. Mm -hmm. I killed the bear that they attacked the flock I looked after. Yes. Even this giant, <laughs> he shall also die. Hallelujah. For God is with me. Amen. When God is with you, Woo. you have no peace with fearing. Glory. When God is with Woo. you, Woo. you should be bold. Yes. The Bible declares mm. the righteous, yes. they are bold like a lion. Amen. It is time for you yes. to tighten your belt of Hallelujah. truth Hallelujah. and square your shoulders yes. with the breastplate Hallelujah. of righteousness Hallelujah. and say, I will not fear. Amen. I'm a child of God. Yes. My God is with me. Hallelujah. And if God is with me, Ooh. Romans chapter 8, verse yes. 31, who, who can be against, against me? Oh. I am more than a conqueror. Amen. I am a victor in the house of God. Hallelujah. I am a champion in Zion. Yes. Greater is he that is in me than the devil that is in the world. Hallelujah. God is with me. Yes. And I refuse to fear. Amen. I refuse to fear. Amen. I refuse to be dismayed. Yes. I refuse to worry. I refuse. I have good reason. Yes. To be happy. Hallelujah. <laughs> I will rejoice. Hallelujah. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. God will be done to work with me. Hallelujah. He's faithful to finish it. Yes. <laughs> I have a living God. Amen. He's not a dead God. Mm -mm. He's not an idol. He can do something about my issue. Yes. He's with me to handle it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory in the highest. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Yeah. The joy of the Lord. Oh. He does not say the joy of the world. Mm -hmm. There is a difference between the joy of the world. The joy of the world celebrates vanities. Mm. The joy of the world celebrates passing pleasures of sin. Mm. The joy of the world rejoices the things which are passing away, mm. the things which are transient, the things which are weak, you know, the things which are corrupt, temporal. No, we're not calling you to rejoice such things. The joy of the Lord rejoices in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want you to rejoice the rock of ages. Amen. We want Jesus to be your party. Yes. That's why I did a song some time ago that says, Chesa party, weka muzike, mungu mpoa. Jesus is your party. Yes. God is your party. Yes. Rejoice that which is eternal. Hallelujah. Rejoice that which is almighty. Amen. Rejoice that which cannot be taken away from you. Yes. Jesus told Martha, 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 you are busy with many things. But one thing is needful. And Mary has chosen the better part. No one can remove it from her. Listen to this. When you start making God your joy, joy cannot be removed from you. Amen. When you start making God your joy, peace cannot be removed from you. When you start making God your joy, prosperity cannot be removed from you. When you start making God your joy, righteousness is yours. When you start making God your joy, vision is yours. You will always have a vision. You will not say, I do not see where I am going. Mm. You will always know, I can see. Amen. For David confessed and said, in your light, I see light. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Glory to God. Amen. You will know your future. Mm. You will know your north. You will know your way. You will know your direction. When when God is your joy, yes. you will know you are healing. Amen. You will not know your disease. No. Hallelujah. Glory. You will know your health. Yes. You will know your deliverance. Ah, yes. You will not know your challenge. Ah, yes. You will not know your tormentor. Hallelujah. You will know your blessing. Amen. Even if they put you in a fear of furnace, if you 
God, if your joy is God Almighty, yes, even the fire will salute you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. May God be your joy. Amen. May you dance God. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. We have a song we are, we are releasing soon called Jesus. You're better, better than, than all. all. It begins by saying, I danced in the morning when the world was begun. I I am the Lord of the dance, said he. Listen, make Jesus your dance. Come Hallelujah. on. Make Jesus your joy. Ooh. Make Jesus your groove. Glory. Make Jesus your amen. Yes, make yes, Jesus yes. your praise. Hallelujah. Make Jesus your happiness. Yes. And I'm telling you, yes. oh, that joy is your strength. Amen. You have that joy. You are strong to deliver. You have that joy. You are strong to get that which is yours. When you have that joy, you will pursue. When you have that joy, you will overtake. When you have that joy, you will recover all. When you have that joy, you will mount up wings like an eagle. When you have that joy, you will run and not be weary. When you have that joy, you will walk and not faint. When you have that joy, you will walk in triumph. And procession glory. moving from victory to victory, victory. from peace to peace, yes. from faith to faith, yes. from grace to grace, hallelujah. from high to high. Yes. Someone shout hallelujah. hallelujah! Say, I have that joy. I have that joy. Glory I to have Jesus. That joy. Yes, I have that joy. Yes. I have that joy. I have that joy. Come on, someone say joy. joy. Someone say joy. I got joy. I got joy. I yes. got joy. Yes. I got joy. Yes. The joy of the Lord. Yes. The joy of the Lord. <laughs> the joy of the Lord. <laughs> Man of God, you do not understand. Hallelujah. Man of God, you do not understand. Mm. My problems don't allow me to rejoice. My problems don't allow me to celebrate. I see you are happy. You have no problem. <laughs> the, the, the word declares in James chapter 1 verses 2. Count it all, all joy. joy. Amen. When you suffer diverse tests. <laughs> when you joy in the Lord. Yes. You don't joy because of food on the table. You don't joy because of money in the bank yeah. or in the pocket. No, 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 no. Mm. You have a richer joy. That is a poor joy. A joy of vanity. Yes. When you rejoice God, mm. you rejoice Him. Even when you are in trials. Yes, yes. They got Paul and Silas. Mm -hmm. They beat them up yes. for preaching the name of the Lord Jesus. <laughs> they got Paul and Silas yes. and they put bonds on them mm -hmm. and they sentenced them to prison yes. and they put them in the prison house and they, they told the warder, make sure they stay. And Paul and Silas looked yes. at each other and said, do you feel it? Do you feel the joy? Yes. I feel the joy. Ah, the joy of suffering for my Lord. Yes. I feel Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel joy. Hey, the Holy Ghost in me. And they began to praise God. They were praising God. It came until the midnight hour. Amen. God had to come to that party. <laughs> God descended in the prison. Yes. Shook the prison. Hallelujah. Broke the bones. Yes. Broke the gates of the prison. Yes. And the water was so early after free. He feared the prisoners had escaped. Yes. And when he was going to kill himself with a sword, Paul announced and said, do not kill yourself. We are all here. And the man looked at Paul and wondered what kind of a prisoner is this? One who rejoices in the Lord. He said, what shall I do that me and my house can be saved? And Paul said, believe on the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Tonight, <laughs> <laughs> believe on the Lord Jesus yes. and you and your house yes. shall be, be saved. saved. Amen. That is the power of joy. Amen. The joy of the Lord shall be your strength. Amen. Now I want you to understand, he says, the joy of the Lord, not your joy, his joy. How can the joy of my God be his strength? That is what communion is all about. When we have communion with God, mm. it is a communion that works by the Holy Spirit. God works in the inside of us. Yes. And the joy of his name, mm. the joy of his praise, yes. the joy of his heart, yes. hallelujah, hallelujah, being one with us, works in us mighty strength. That is what Pentecostal Day was all about. 
They were afraid in the upper room. They were afraid their Lord had ascended into heaven. They were alone without him. But on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came and descended upon them. The Holy Spirit is on you. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit is on you. Yes. Working is even in the inside of you. Amen. The joy of the Lord. Yes. God is not rejoicing alone. God is rejoicing with you. Just let him be. Let him rejoice with you. Rejoice him as he rejoices with you. In the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Communion. When we celebrate communion, we remember the joy of the Lord. Jesus is the joy. Of the Lord. I said, Jesus is the joy of the Lord. Amen. Every time God laughs, yes. every time God is excited, it is Jesus. And that Jesus is in you. Amen. And let him dwell in your heart richly. Alleluia. That means don't be poor about Jesus in you. Amen. Ah, this light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't be poor about Jesus in you. He's in you by the power of his blood. He's the joy of the Lord. As long as you have him in you, you can rejoice in that trial. As long as you have him in you, you can rejoice in that marriage. You can rejoice in that family. You can rejoice in that problem. You can rejoice against that enemy. You can rejoice in our days. Rejoice in the Lord. Listen to this. Let's look at the second text. And then we get into some good questions that my sweetheart is going to be asking us tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. John chapter 16. Turn with me in your Bibles. John chapter 16, verses 33. Hallelujah. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Woo! Glory! Amen, amen. A lot of people do not have joy mm. because they do not have knowledge. Sure. They are in their ignorance mm. trying to overcome the world. Mm. They are trying with their strength to overcome the world. That's why they are missing the party. Hallelujah. The party began 2,000 years ago mm. when the world was overcome. Jesus has already overcome the world mm. you don't understand that yes. you will not understand the end times mm. you do not understand that you will not understand the days we are in yes. you do not understand that you will faint for nothing jesus has already overcome the world amen. what is the world what is the world mm -hmm. hallelujah amen. the world is the system that has been put in place by Satan. Mm -hmm. Satan has put a system mm. to govern the earth. Mm. He has been the prince of this world. Yes. The ruler of this world. This is his system. Are you understanding? Yes. Now, Jesus has already overcome the system. How does the system work? He uses demons and territorial powers. Mm. They are territorial spirits for different regions around the world. Mm. And they are wicked spirits that are superintended by these territorial powers to ensure an order, to ensure the kingdom of darkness, to ensure the world as we know it, a world which is trying to forget Jesus mm. because he already overcame it. Jesus has already, has already overcome the system. Yes. Men are trying to overcome it. Mm -hmm. Men are trying to make it in the world. Mm. The world which Jesus has already overcome. Yes. That's why so many worry. Mm -hmm. So many worry. Yes. So many become prey to the spirits of fear. Mm. The spirit of fear is given to those who do not know the victory of Jesus. Let me say that again. The spirit of fear is given to those who do not know the victory of Jesus. Mm. The reason why Jesus asked us to celebrate the communion, the victory of Jesus is the communion we have with God. God in us and we in him, 
God with us, Emmanuel. Amen. That is the victory of Jesus. Yes. Now let me say it again. The spirit of fear is given to those who do not know the victory of Jesus. It is given to those who do not know they are one with God, who do not know God is in them, who do not know they are in God, yes. who assume they are alone in this world, yes. who assume yes. they are vulnerable in this world, yes. who assume they are like orphans in this world. Yes. Jesus said, I will not leave you like orphans. I will ascend and I will ask the Father to send you the Spirit, the yes. Spirit of the Most High, yes. dwells in you yes. because you are one with God. Hallelujah. Greater is He yes. that is in you than the yes. devil that is in the world. Amen. Stop worrying. Yes. Hallelujah. Saints of the living God, yes. stop worrying. Amen. Worry is not your portion. Yes. Remember the Lord. Hallelujah. Remember Jesus. Yes. Remember His victory. Hallelujah. He has given you victory. Yes. You are one with God. Glory. You are more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. If God be for you, yes. your enemies will fall for your sake. If God be for you, mm. you will pull down struggles. We will cast out devils. Yes. You will walk in triumphant procession. Yes. God God is with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. hallelujah. You can type hallelujah. Glory. Rejoice hallelujah. We are winners. Yes. We are more than conquerors. Yes. Jesus did not overcome the world for himself. Mm. He overcome the world for us. Yes. He says in this world, yes. you will have trials, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. He said, celebrate me. Hallelujah. I have overcome the world. Yes. Rejoice me. Yes. I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. Be of good cheer. Amen. Don't worry. Yes. Be to God. Glory to Jesus. Woo! Yes. Come on, shout somebody. Yes. Yay! Hallelujah. Yay! Yay! Yes, Lord. This should mm -hmm. cause you to do a riot in your house. Yes. I'm telling you. Amen. You get wind of this, you kick some devil out. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You get wind of this, yes. you drum up the beats of rejoicing Woo! in your house. You are not a victim. Yes. You are not a defeated foe. No. No. no, no, no you no. have a victory. Amen. Don't be careless with it. Mm. Be careful with it. Hallelujah. How can you be careful? Yes. Be of good cheer. Yeah. Be happy. Yes. When you are worrying, you are being careless with the victory of Jesus. Yes. Because God is with you Amen. and you are wasting him. Yes. Ah! Oh. How can you waste God? Oh. Why should you waste God? God with you. Amen. Imagine if David had wasted God. Mm. He would have been meat for Goliath. Oh. Imagine if the three Hebrew boys who were thrown in the fire had wasted God. They would have been burned to death. Mm. Imagine if Jesus had wasted God. He would not have been raised from the dead. Mm. Now think about those who have been careful with God. Careful with God. Mm. David he cut off the head of Goliath. Mm. Goliath died because David was careful with God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The three Hebrew boys yes. were called out of the furnace. Mm. They were made governors yes. because they were careful with God. Hallelujah. Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I remember Jesus. Yes. He was raised from the dead. Hallelujah. He was ascended even to heaven. Yes. He sits on the throne of God. Yes. Because he was careful with God. Glory. I came here to tell you tonight. Yes. Remember Jesus. Amen. Remember Jesus. Amen. Remember him in your marriage. Amen. Remember him in your ministry. Amen. Remember him in your family. Yes. Remember him in your children. Yes. Remember him in your community. Yes. Remember Jesus. Jesus. Remember our victory. Amen. He's with us. Hallelujah. He's with us. Glory He's Jesus. with us. Amen. In these last days, yes. God is with us. Yes. As the economy shakes, 
God is with us. Amen. As wars and rumors of war take place, God is with us. Yes. We are not alone. Yes. We are not abandoned. Amen. We are not forsaken. Yes. We have victory over the world. Hallelujah. We have victory over the system. Yes. We have victory over wicked spirits. We have victory over territorial powers. Yes. We have victories in the east. Yes. We have victories in the north. Hallelujah. We have victory in the south yes. and in the west. Yes. Everywhere we Hallelujah. turn, we have victory. God God is with us. Amen. God is with us. Yes. Someone say, yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. What it means that we are more than conquerors means we cannot be defeated. Yes. Whatever was against us yes. has already been overcome. Amen. Whatever is coming against you has already been overcome. Hallelujah. What you need Hallelujah. is remember Jesus. Hallelujah. And then just start rejoicing. Yes. Hey, come on. You just kick off your shoes and you begin to dance. <laughs> Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I tell the devil, get you behind me. Victory today is mine. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I do not know another couple this happy. Glory to God. Ah, I want you to be this happy. Yes. We want you to be this happy. Yes. That's why we host Heavenly Friday Holy mm. Communion service. We pray that as many couples as possibly can, can tap into the victory of Jesus. Hallelujah. Can tap into the communion of glory. Hallelujah. Can tap into the grace of our Lord Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Can tap into the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Can tap into the spirit of victory. Glory. We have overcome. Yes. We have already overcome. We have have already overcome. Yes. We are not trying to overcome. Victory is ours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you got it? Have yes. you got it in your house? Have you got it in your spirit? Amen. Have you got it in your mind? Yes. Have you got it in your heart? Hallelujah. You have got the victory of God. Rejoice in the Lord. Amen. Again, I say rejoice Amen. in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Lovely. I love those questions now. Yes, <laughs> Hallelujah. yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for the Spirit, for the Holy Hallelujah. Spirit. Hallelujah. moving. Hallelujah. Honey, why shouldn't we worry? It's you, a question that many people would be asking. Yeah. Why shouldn't we worry? You know, we shouldn't worry because of what we are. Yes. We are one with God. Hallelujah. <laughs> mm. That, that, that's the basic reason why we shouldn't worry. Yes. We have victory. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. We are uh, heavenly victors. Mm. We are heavenly conquerors. Hallelujah. We put on the helmet of salvation. Yes. We put on the breastplate of righteousness. Yes. We wear the shield of faith. Okay. We have the sword of the spirit. Hallelujah. We have the belt of the truth. Truth. And we have the feet ready for the gospel. Hallelujah. We have the full armor of God. How can you put on the armor by which God wins every battle mm. and he has never lost and you are afraid <laughs> and you are worried. Yeah, Come yeah. on somebody. Yes. Don't be careless. Hallelujah. Don't be foolish. Yes. You don't put on that helmet for nothing. Mm. You don't put on that breastplate for nothing. Yes. You don't have the belt of truth for nothing. Yes. The weapons of our warfare, mm. they are not canon, oh. but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. Hallelujah. Which bring to captivity every thought mm. that exalts itself against the knowledge of our God. Hallelujah. Amen. We are talking about the gospel. Amen. Anything that contends with the gospel, yes. we bring it down. In the name of We Jesus. hold it captive. Yes. We stop it. Mm. We don't just complain about it. I hear people complaining and murmuring and crying and they are worried about the days. Where are we going? The same-sex marriage here and there is all these perversions there and they are going to the Supreme Court. Go to which Supreme Court? Mm. You don't need nothing. Yes. What you need is find yourself some room and remember that you are one with God and arrest the territorial power. Put Jesus. on those strongholds. Yes. You Glory. don't need the law mm. to fight sin. Mm. The law failed. The law of God. Forget about the laws of men. The laws of God failed to fight sin. In fact, the Apostle Paul said, the law strengthened sin. Mm. What overcomes sin? 
the cross. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The cross Hallelujah. of Christ overcame sin. Yes. So don't go to the law to solve the problem of sin. In fact, sin was already overcome. Yes. So what you need to do and say, begin to rejoice that yes. victory. Amen. Rejoice that victory. And watch the Holy Spirit prove it. Hallelujah. Prove it. Hallelujah. Prove Hallelujah. It. Amen. Amen. So you don't need to worry. Yes. Because of who you are. You are more than a conqueror. Romans chapter 8, verses 37. John 16, verses 33, I said, Be of good cheer. Jesus himself has said, I have overcome the world. So why should you worry about what has already been overcome? Hallelujah. Why should you worry? Mm, 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 mm. Thank you, honey. Can happiness be at, uh, attained in this cruel world? That's a question many people <laughs> ask. Say, man of God, yes, we are not worrying but can happiness be attained in this cruel world oh yeah oh yes jesus was speaking about this same very cruel world when he said in this world mm -hmm. in the cruelty of it yes. in the trials of it yes. in his tribulations yes. in his afflictions yes. he's not ignorant of it this is not some fantasy this is not magic mm -hmm. this is reality he said in the midst of it he said be of good cheer i have already overcome it amen I have already overcome it. And I have shared with you the spirit again speaking by the Apostle James. Mm. Says count it all joy oh, when you suffer diverse tests. Yes. Count it all oh, joy. Mm. Rejoice. Why? Hallelujah. Mm. Because mm. you already have the victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the fight of your faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. You rejoice because God is rejoicing in the inside of you. God is rejoicing you being one with him. You join the party. Yes. You rejoice with him. Yes. And the Holy Spirit is present mm. to prove it. To prove the victory. Hallelujah. To prove that you have overcome. Yes. Listen to this. It is a fight of faith. And the Apostle John in 1 John chapter 5 verse 4 mm. says whatsoever is born of God, Glory. it overcomes the world. He says what is the victory which has overcome the world? Yes. He says even our faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What we believe, mm. that's what we receive. Amen. And we receive because we believe. Yes. We receive because we believe. Yes. We believe the victory. Yes. We receive the victory. Amen. We show the victory. Yes. We make it manifest. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, Glory to Jesus. In the same world, yes. you can believe. Hallelujah. In the same world, mm. you can receive. Yes. In the same world, yes. you have triumphed. In this same world, you are more than a conqueror. The Apostle Paul says, what shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall pestilence, shall tribulation, shall nakedness, shall famine, shall hunger, shall demons, even angels. He says, nay, in all these things, in all these things, which things? The cruelty of this world. Mm. We are more than conquerors. Amen. I'm talking to someone tonight. <laughs> yes. I'm talking to someone tonight. Yes. In your heart. Yes. You've always known it. I am not a defeated foe. Oh. I am not a victim. Something has always been nudging in the inside of you. It was the Spirit of God telling you, square your shoulders, lift up your head. The living God is a shield over your head. Mm. He's a great rewarder to those who diligently seek Him, Amen. who know that He is their great reward. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Yes, yes, honey. There's a, lo there's a lot of trouble in this world. Yes. Oh, yes. Is it possible to be stronger than those troubles? Oh, yes. Is it possible to be stronger than the troubles of this world? Yes. The troubles of this world are the workings of Satan who has already been condemned, who has already been overcome, who is an evil spirit, mm. the lowest ranking of spirit. You are a ruling spirit, the highest ranking of spirits. You are like your father. Yes. You are made in his likeness. Yes. You are ruling spirit. Yes. And to you has been given all the power of heaven and earth. Ephesians chapter 1 Amen. verses 19 says, You have been given such power yes. as raised Jesus from the dead, Amen. ascended him even to heaven, Hallelujah. and sat him on the throne of God, ah. far above thrones, dominions, and principalities. That power is in the inside yes. of you. 
and in Ephesians 3, 20 says uh, that power is working in the inside of you to do exceedingly, abundantly, far more than you can ask or imagine. Can you be stronger than the troubles of this world? Yes, yes you are. And yes. when you are weak, remember, you have a backup. Oh. The grace of Christ <laughs> Jesus yes. is sufficient for you. Hallelujah. When you are weak, you are God is strong. Hallelujah. Yes, you yes, are not alone. Hallelujah. I said you are not alone. Yes. You are mighty with God. Amen. You are not alone. Yes. You are great with God. Amen. You are not alone. He's in your camp. He's on your side. He's with you. Victory is yours. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory to God. Yes, yes, yes. You yes, can yes. be stronger than the troubles of this corrupt world. Hallelujah. Greater is he who is in us than the world who is in the world. Hallelujah. Yeah. And it will, will the world change for the better or just get worse? That's a very serious question. I think it's getting worse. Most people seeing with carnal eyes, mm. with foolish vision, according to the patterns of corruption, presume Things are getting worse. Mm. And that is how so many canon ministers read the Bible. Mm. Many canon ministers reading the Bible say, it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. No, it is not. Yes. <laughs> it's not going to get worse. Mm. It's getting better. Amen. Listen, if, uh, the book of Hebrews chapter 12, from verses 25 down to verses 29, the apostle Barnabas, who I believe I credit to have written that, that later to the Hebrew, he was closely associated with Paul. That's why his letter resembles so much the letters of Paul. And many people are shown that it was the Apostle Paul. I believe it was the Apostle Barnabas. Remember, he's the one who first taught Paul the gospel. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why there's so much resemblance. But listen to this. In Hebrews chapter 12, verses 25, down to verses 29, the Apostle Barnabas talks about God once before shook the earth. Mm -hmm. But now he uh, has shaken the heavens and the earth. Amen. So whatever you are seeing going on that you are thinking is getting worse, yes. is just God shaking yes. the territorial powers yes. in heavenly places yes. and shaking the their systems yes. in this world. Amen. That is not getting worse. It's getting better. Why? He says, this thing shall be shaken yes. so that everything that can be shaken shall be removed away. Yes. The kingdoms of darkness yes. shall be removed. Glory. The kingdoms of this world shall be removed. Yes. And then he goes on to say, yes. so that the kingdom which cannot be shaken <laughs> shall remain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. So it's not getting worse. <laughs> it is getting better. Yeah. The kingdom of darkness yes. and the kingdoms of this world, yes. they are being removed. Hallelujah. They are being shaken. Yes. They are being removed yes. so that the kingdom which cannot be shaken shall Amen. remain. Amen. And you know, we are in that season. Yes. The seventh trumpet is about to be blown. Yes. And the seventh angel is Hallelujah. going to declare, now have the kingdoms of this world yes. become the kingdom of our God yes. and of his Christ. Hallelujah. That is not getting worse. That is getting better. Amen. We are heading yes. to the establishment mm. of Zion, yes. the holy nation born by the power of the blood, to the establishment of the kingdom of heaven, yes. which cannot be shaken Glory. and cannot be removed. Yes. Daniel saw it. Daniel saw it. Oh, yes. Daniel saw it. So did Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar was the first to see it. Mm. He saw a big statue. The head was made of gold. Mm. And the, 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 the neck uh, uh, was made of silver. Uh, 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 and the chest uh, was made of bronze. And the legs, were, the thighs were made of iron. And the feet were made of iron mixed with clay. They represented the different kingdoms of this world. And he saw that a rock was cut out of a mountain. And it came down. The mountain is the mountain of the Lord. And it I came know. down. Yes. And it crushed the statue. Yes. And broke it into pieces. And, uh, the, uh, and crushed them into powder. Yes. And the wind, which is the Holy Spirit, <laughs> swept them away. Yes. Glory so, to listen to this. It's going to get better. Amen. Because the very reason things have been bad in this world, Amen. the very reason there have been trials and troubles in this world, 
is because of the kingdoms of this world mm. and because of the kingdom of darkness. And they are being shaken mm. and they are being removed as the kingdom of heaven is arising, is ascending to be established in the earth. And listen, the kingdom comes and the will of the Father Hallelujah. shall be done in the earth as it is done in heaven. We are going to have heaven on earth. That is not getting worse. That, that is, is getting, getting better. better. Don't worry. Be happy. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said when you see these things begin to happen. He said look up. Your redemption is near. Amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. And this brings us to the last question. Yes. Dear. Why is the end of the world? Should we worry or be happy? What is the end of the world? <laughs> amen. Should we worry or oh, be happy? No. Well, you've got the answer already, I'm Be certain. Happy. If you've been following the Be teaching, happy. hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is the perfect will of God and the permissive will of God. Mm -hmm. A lot of prophecy that has been shared was the permissive will of God. Mm -hmm. But indeed, if you study prophecy, if not just reading prophecy, but mm -hmm. you study prophecy prayerfully, and submit yourself to the Holy Spirit for the Holy Spirit to bring understanding to your, to your mind. You put on the mind of Christ concerning the end time. How will, what will be the end of these things? I've just told you. The kingdom of heaven is taking over the earth. Amen. And it will make the will of the Father to be done Amen. here yes. as it is done Amen. in heaven. That is a happy outcome. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is a happy outcome. So don't worry. Hallelujah. Amen. Be happy Amen. concerning the end of time. Amen. The end of time heralds the continuation of eternity. Amen. Man is going to transition out of time. Amen. Time is temporal. Amen. Time is weak. Amen. Time is vain. Time is frail. We are moving from time, time. to eternity. No. That is nothing to worry yes, about. Yes. Eternity is better than time. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. To Glory. 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 Hallelujah. So listen to the saints yes. of God. Yes. All this makes sense because of only one thing. Mm. J-E-S-U-S. Remember Jesus. Jesus. You can't rejoice the way we are rejoicing unless Christ is the center of your heart. Yes. Unless he's the Lord, you accept him as the Lord of your life. Mm. He is the Lord of your life, whether you accept him or not. Make no mistakes about it. Yes. He will judge the living and the dead. Yes. <laughs> you won't say, ah, Jesus, I never accepted you, so you can't judge me. No, Jesus said the Father will judge no one. Mm. He has handed over judgment to the Son. Mm. <laughs> so Jesus is the Lord of all men. Mm. He has made himself mm. lord by his obedience yes. hallelujah. hallelujah and he made all men lords with him by his obedience he's the lord of lords men are heirs with him mm. joint heirs with him mm. over the whole estate of his father mm. when you refuse to receive christ as lord what you are refusing is to be an heir in the estate of god mm -hmm. who is the loser not jesus you don't be foolish Receive your estate. Receive your place. Amen. Receive your inheritance. Amen. Let accept Amen. Jesus as Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. He's already Lord whether you accept or not. Yes. But it makes sense for you. Amen. It profits you to accept his Lordship. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we want to lead you mm. in the acceptance of Christ as yes. Lord. Yes. Tonight. Yes. Maybe your family. You can get them to come together. Let us accept and confess the Lordship of Christ, that we can be awakened by the Holy Spirit into our heavenly inheritance as heirs together with him mm. of all the Father's estate. Are we together? Yes. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, yes, Father. thank you thank for you. such a great salvation. Thank you, Father. Thank you mm. for communion. Thank you for Jesus, mm. the Christ, the anointed one who through the power of his own blood has restored our reconciliation with you. We are like you, dear Father, yes. and can behold even Christ as in a mirror, who is the express image of your person. Father. We can do that because of his blood. Yes. 
And tonight we are going to partake of the body. We are going to drink of the cup. We want to receive your salvation. Say with me, dear Jesus, dear Jesus you, are my Lord. you are my Lord. You have bought me, you have bought me with, your own blood. with your own blood. I am a treasured possession, I am a treasured possession in, your heart, in your heart, in your kingdom, in your, kingdom, in your, court, in your court, in your temple, in your, temple, in the, uh, in your estate. In your estate. Now dear, Lord Jesus, now, dear Lord Jesus, I receive you, I receive you as, my Lord. as my Lord. Rule me, Rule me with, your power. with your power and keep me, and keep me happy, happy, not worried. Not worried. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. And the saints of glory we say, Amen, amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Now listen to this. The night our Lord was betrayed. That's what this whole service leads to. Why should you not worry? Because of communion. God is with us. Emmanuel. We are in him and he's in us. Yes, yes. Can we celebrate the communion in the manner that our Lord asked us to celebrate? Mm. By taking of his body and drinking of his cup. Amen? Amen. The night our Lord was betrayed, he took the bread and lifted it to heaven. And he said, this is my body, which shall be broken for you. Eat it and do this in remembrance of me. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the communion tonight. We thank you for the body that was broken for our sake. As we partake of the body, dear Father, we thank you that our Lord suffered for our sake, that we, through his suffering, should enter his glory. You in us and us in you all together, one in the communion of glory. As we take it tonight, quicken us in the understanding, remembering this victory, remembering Jesus. Amen and amen. Let's make it of the body. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Together we thank our God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The same night our Lord took the cup, lifted it to heaven and said, This is the cup of my blood. We shall be poured for the remission of your sins. Drink it and do this in remembrance of me. Blessed Father, as we drink of the cup, we remember the Lamb slain for our sake, mm. and who through the power of his blood has restored us in reconciliation with the Father. Mm. We are one with you, Almighty God. You in us and us in you. As we partake of the blood, quicken our understanding, we invite you, Holy Spirit, help us remember Jesus. Help us remember his victory in Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. You may drink of the cup in the, the name, name of, of the, the Father, Father and of the Son and, and of the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Now there are many of you watching. And you may be having one challenge or the other. Mm. It could be a challenge in your welfare. It could be a challenge in your body. It could be a challenge in your mental state. It could be a challenge you have in your ministry. Whatever challenge it is, I want you to stretch your hand to us. And I want you to agree with us. You are one with God, Amen. and you have already overcome that challenge. Amen. Can we agree? Yes. Father, we agree with those who are watching us tonight yes. that we are all together one with you. Mm. You in us and us in you. Yes, and we have already overcome every challenge, mm. any challenge that we are dealing with because Christ overcame it all by the power of his blood 
and the work of the cross. We are more than conquerors in our body. We are more than conquerors in our marriages. We are more than conquerors in our families. We are more than conquerors in our going, in our coming. We are more than conquerors in every and any situation that we have to deal with because we are one with you, Almighty God. We have the heavenly victory in Jesus' name. And the saints of glory say, Amen. amen. Listen, amen. listen, listen. The Spirit of God is moving and confirming this prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. People are being delivered in power. Wonders are taking place right where you are. Hallelujah. And many people later on watching this programming, they will receive their miracle because this is an eternal program. We do not speak vain things here. We speak words which are eternal. Peter said to Jesus, where shall we go? Your words, you have the words of eternal life. Mm -hmm. We don't speak material things here. We don't speak vain things here. This program will work 10 years from now, a thousand years from now, 10 million years from now, because it's not a program in time speaking about vain and temporal things. We speak concerning the kingdom of heaven. It is eternal. And listen to this. There is enough power in this programming to work wonders in the lives of anyone who's watching in Jesus' mighty name. So share your testimonies with us. Get back to us and say, I was watching. It was a Friday and I was watching yes. and you spoke concerning this and I'm, I, I, I was revived, I was restored, I was delivered, I was blessed. We like to read these reports mm. and rejoice together with you. Mm. Isn't it wonderful? Yes. It's a kingdom joy. Hallelujah. This fellowship we have in Christ Jesus. Mm. Amen. Amen. Till next Friday, Heavenly Friday is not the only program we have, sorry. This Sunday, we have Let's Talk Christ. Hallelujah. Yes. And I will be ministering this Sunday, 8 o'clock, 20 zero zero hours, oh. East African time. Let's talk Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. It's just going to be awesome. And I will be talking about God's life is all yours. Amen. God's life is all, all yours. yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not all his. He has given it to you. Hallelujah. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes in him should not perish but live eternal life, the life of God. So we're going to be looking at that this Sunday. We will be sharing with you the event notification. And listen to this. Come with your Bible. Come prayed up. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are going to see God explode with revelation that will change you for glory. Hallelujah. Amen. God's life is all yours this Sunday. And then on Wednesday, we host at my dear lovely wife's page, Sarah Kaiser Facebook page. Hallelujah. Amen. We host uh, Love That Really Works. Hallelujah. I would, rather, I would rather say she hosts me on <laughs> her page. Hallelujah. On her timeline, Sarah Kaiser. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, Love That Really Works. We had an incredible program last Wednesday mm. where we were looking at... Uh, at, at what? Heart to heart, heart connection. to heart connection. Yes. You need. You can go to her page. You can find it on her page. You can go to our YouTube channel at uh, Apostles Joseph and Sarah King. Mm -hmm. We have the YouTube edited version there. It will bless you. Hallelujah. Yes. We love you so much. You can go to our website oh, yes. for more information regarding this ministry, yes. Revelation Christ Ministries at www.apostles. Apostles, yes. it's plural, yes. Apostles Joseph and Sarah King dot yes. co dot ke. Let me say that again. www dot Apostles Joseph and Sarah King dot co dot ke. You can go there and get three books. Three books. At just the touch of a button, you can download any of our several books right there. And we, we have uh, programming, bro uh, our broadcasts are there as well. And we are believing God to improve on the broadcasting. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want to be a part of it, you can partner with us, reach out to us on our inbox, and we can tell you how you can uh, send your finances, send your love gifts to us so that we can improve on our broadcasting. We want you to pray with us. You, you all know, some of you may not, but most of you know that I'm into music. 
and uh, this coming week we should be doing uh, videos music videos for some of our songs like Jesus You're Better Than All and Zion We Are One and the producer we're working with is, is willing to actually improve also our broadcasting so if you can pray and even send your giftings we can work towards that and so listen we are helping the word of God to get excellently delivered everywhere uh, around the world even as Christ said that we should go to every end of this world then the end shall come hallelujah Amen. it's a good end the kingdom comes hallelujah bye-bye shalom, shalom.